Visa liberalization is not discouraging our people to travel to, uh, to Russia. Uh, visa liberalization is not against uh, uh, Russia. It's about new opportunities, new, especially for those who would like to to um, uh, get more than, uh, than, than before. And for many Moldovans, especially after the, um, uh, several um, economic blockades um, uh, set up by, by Russia with regard to Moldova, many um, businessmen uh, understood um, that uh, they need stable partnerships, and particularly in the wine industry of Moldova. I, know I don't accuse those Moldovans who still live with this uh, uh, Soviet past, uh, nostalgic past. Russia is offering a very uh, easy, understandable uh, solution. Cheap gas, jobs, and uh, an open market for Moldovan agricultural uh, products. From my point of view, we need to explain uh, better to our societies, and especially to those skeptical um, uh, citizens in Moldova, who still live with uh, nostalgic ideas and the nostalgic past, that gas, Moldova, cheap Russian gas, is not the solution for our problems. And from this point of view, I think we have necessary arguments in order to convince our uh, citizens that EU is better option for, for us, that EU is the necessary provider of uh, efficient models how to build a state, how to build an efficient, uh, how to build efficient institutions, how to build an efficient e economy, how to get rid of uh, corrupted uh, officials and uh, elites. Is Russia giving us uh, these kind of models now? No, on the contrary, on the contrary. So that's why I, I, uh, I um, refrain to blame my uh, countrymen, those who have um, li are living with the, uh, this past. And uh, they are not efficient, especially because they are not honest, because they are behaving like many oligarchs we see in Moscow, we see in other uh, places in Russia or uh, in the Eastern Partnership uh, countries. At, the, at this point in time, the so-called pro-European uh, elite, uh, which I, I should recognize, uh, managed to fulfill at least the Eastern Partnership agenda put so far forward to Moldova. But they are not able anymore to implement association agreement and DCFTA because they are not credible, they are not trusted, and they are not followed by the, by the people. But this FTA and association agreement means deep reforms, structural reforms, political, institutional, social, economic, that would re require some social costs, not only financial costs, but social costs, material costs, from the part of uh, entire society. And this would um, would force our uh, political class to change the, the, um, the uh, org practice. We are living in a very interesting times for Moldova, uh, challenging times, I, I would say. Um, but uh, still, uh, personally, I'm uh, quite optimistic that uh, we will uh, um, go through this, uh, these challenges and uh, uh, we will deepen even more our relationship with the uh, European Union and uh, this will bring necessary stability and prosperity to our country.